let me show you guys the steps that I take to remove a hybrid battery out of a 2013 Toyota Prius V. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the emergency parking brake. I'm going to make my way towards the rear cargo area and I just want to remove all the rear interior trim pieces so I can expose the hybrid battery service grip plug and the smaller 12 volt battery. Once I expose the 12 volt battery, I'm going to disconnect the negative terminal first. Once I have the negative terminal disconnected and the system is powering down completely, I'm gonna to try to get the top cover off the hybrid battery. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. This is for the Prius V model. This is just to get the top cover off. Once I remove the top cover, the battery has been disconnected for maybe about a minute or two. Now it's time to remove the service grip plug. Pull towards the left, pull, to pull out towards you, and then pull on the service grip plug. And the service grip tool is important. The way Toyota designed it is you're going to need it to remove the push pin that's holding on the covers, some of the covers to the hybrid battery. The only way you can do it is with that service grip plug. Now on top of the battery, there's this upper air duct that's routing the air out of the hybrid battery that's coming from the blower motor. I'm going to remove that. Right now, I'm just in the process of just trying to remove the blower motor. This is the air duct that the blower motor pulls air from. It's routed underneath the seat. To remove the blower motor, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter nut towards the left, and right here, a 10 millimeter bolt. There's also, a, there's also another 10 millimeter bolt on the top total of three, two bolts, one nut. A few electrical connectors to remove and disconnect. So at this point, I'm just trying to free up as much as the harness off the hybrid battery assembly itself. the hybrid battery blower motor. Now I'm gonna to try to remove the cover that's covering the relays and the positive and negative high voltage cables that's going to the inverter. Just a few 10 millimeter nuts going around the top cover tray. And you see that the orange um, push pin, what I told you you need the service grip plug for. Now it's time to remove the orange push pins. That's where the service grip plug is going to be a handy tool because that's the only way you're going to remove it is by inserting it inside that push pin to release the inner tab and turning it counterclockwise. After removing that upper cover, it's going to expose the positive and negative cables, high voltage cables going to the inverter. Safety first, I always check with a voltmeter to make sure the system is powered down completely. As you can see, zero volts is reading on the voltmeter. Now I know I can safely remove the high voltage cables coming from the hybrid battery, making its way to the uh, inverter in the front of the car. I make my way back outside the hybrid battery and I'm right now at this point I'm just trying to free up as much space and things off the hybrid battery assembly as possible to make it easier to carry out. There's a few bolts going around the hybrid battery holding it to the body. Take my high voltage cables and I'm going to route it out of the way. I'm going to start taking off the 12 millimeter bolts holding on the hybrid battery assembly to the body of the vehicle. The hybrid battery is pretty heavy, so I never try to lift it on my own. I always get the help of an assistant to try to help me carry it out of the vehicle. As 
here's the battery that came out of the vehicle with the relay blocks everything's still intact on the left is the brand new battery from Toyota when it comes from Toyota from the box it comes insulated with these plastic bags as you can see there's some things we're gonna have to transfer over the relay block easiest thing to start with first is the back cover Just three 10 millimeter bolt back cover comes right off and I'm gonna transfer that over to the new hybrid battery Here, I'm just gonna get these plastic covers, insulators off the new hybrid battery. I'm gonna save them for later because I'm gonna have to cover the cables on the old hybrid battery when I'm shipping it back. So don't throw those plastic uh, plastic bags away, otherwise you're gonna have to tape up the harness with uh, electrical tape. So I'm gonna start off by removing the positive and negative uh, cables, high voltage cables coming from the hybrid battery going to the relay block. You can't really mix them up. You see, they come in different lengths, so you can't really cross them. So just regular tab connectors, three bolts holding the relay block on to the hybrid battery assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. connectors we gotta remove and that's your relay block assembly right there three mounting holes that's your positive and negative high voltage cables going to the inverter a few electrical connectors gonna remove the hybrid battery ECU that's the little block you see there and in there that's the little sensor for the blower motor we don't have to worry about damaging it because the new hybrid battery comes with that so when your blower motor is working on or off, that thing can pick it up and tell the computer if, either if it's working or if, it's, or if there's a malfunction in the circuit. If it's not sensing any air from the blower motor once it's commanded. This is your hybrid battery ECU. And it's always good to check the internal connectors. Sometimes they are corroded. This one doesn't seem to be corroded at all, so we're gonna reuse it. From the service grip plug more electrical connectors to remove from that one i just disconnected it could tell if the service grip plug is not securely connected and you're trying to power on the car that little connector i just removed it will actually trip out a light and say for you to connect it or check the service grip plug make sure it's removed one 10 millimeter bolt inside and the service grip assembly connector comes right off you want to be really careful removing that you don't want to touch the inside of it now the outer tray assembly so pretty much at this point it's just being very observant and transferring the stuff over from one hybrid battery to the other just want to take your time, keep the bolts together nice and neat with the component you remove. So if I'm going to remove this outer cover, I'm going to make sure I keep the bolts that I remove with it together so I know how many goes back. And again, just being observant, seeing where the connectors plug into, because there's going to be a lot of cutouts on the hybrid battery assembly. 
So you just want to, as you remove one, see where you can transfer it on the new one. I'm going to remove the lower air duct. This is where your blower motor was sitting and it just pushes air through the hybrid battery to keep it cool and not overheat. That's really the whole function of the air ducts and the way it's routed. So you're just going to take it and this is at this step you just transform one item over to the other. I'm going to install it on the new hybrid battery with the two push pins that I saved. I'm gonna install the plastic bags over the old hybrid battery. For shipping you, it's required that you do that to prevent anything from shorting out while it's inside the container and to protect whoever's opening the hybrid battery receiving the shipment. the blower motor sensor, air sensor. It senses the volume of air that the blower motor is pushing out. It's crucial and it's gonna sit right on top of this plate right here. So it's crucial that we assemble it back correctly so we don't set off any unwanted DTCs. Get all the cables and harnesses out of the way. You don't want nothing getting pinched. We put our 10 millimeter bolts back, make sure everything is clear and out of the way. Now it's time to install the hybrid battery ECU. Two 10 millimeter bolts. Plug the cables back in. Not all the orange cables you see there, guys, even the connectors, it's related to a high voltage cable. If they're orange, it's high voltage. The other black harnesses you see there, usually it's using low voltage and it's not monitoring any of the high voltage cables. Connecting all the connectors back to the hybrid ECU. You know, you just want to be observant. We're just trying to connect everything the way it was on the old battery. Installing the relay block back. Three 10 millimeter nuts. Plugging my connectors back to make sure the relays are functioning correctly. Getting ready to install my high voltage cables back. But like I said, you can't really mix and match them. They're different lengths and they can only really go on in their you know, respective slot. where your service grip plug is connected to. You wanna insert your 10 millimeter bolt right back in the middle there. You wanna be really careful you don't short out those two tabs and pins. Remember, that's where your service grip plug goes to. That's what activates and make alive the hybrid battery. So you wanna be really careful when you putting that 10 millimeter bolt back, don't short out anything. Now you finish transferring almost everything and it looks complete, We're ready for install. Make sure everything's nice and tight, you don't want nothing loose. 
be very observant, make sure you don't have any nuts and bolts left over. That's really what you want to make sure of first. Now it's ready for install. Remember, you need the help of an assistant. Don't try to do it by yourself. You want to throw out your back really fast if you try to do that. With the help of an assistant, somebody preferably who's done it before. I don't get somebody who just started on the job. And this is very dangerous, guys. I don't recommend doing this at home. To even do a job like this, Toyota recommends that you at least be hybrid certified before you do any hybrid work or work on any of the hybrid models. And to be hybrid certified, you need to be at Toyota for at least two years and they require you to take a few online courses and go to the school in person to take an in-person course on just hybrid system. So if you're not hybrid certified in the dealership, you can't work on the hybrid components at all. You could change oil in the Prius, the tires and brakes, the basic things, but anything hybrid uh, related, you have to be hybrid certified before you can work on them. So this job right here is not really a do-it-yourself video. I just want to show you guys the steps involved in doing a hybrid battery, but in no way, shape, or form do I recommend the average person doing this at home because you're dealing with high voltage and it's very dangerous. And this air duct, what's cool about what you can get is the when it comes from the factory originally doesn't come with an air filter so you get a brand new add-on piece that you can connect and a brand new air filter that kind of helps keep debris out of the hybrid battery it's easy to install while before I install the hybrid battery completely I, I make sure to install this air filter for the customer and it just snaps right into place really easy to install That way it doesn't pull as much dirt and debris and dust. So I think it's pretty a good thing to invest in for the customer. We always recommend it. They don't need to buy it because from factory, the car doesn't come with that filter. Toyota sells that filter for an add-on if the customer wants it. I think it's pretty I think it's something you should really invest in because it keeps, especially if you have a lot of dog and if you own pets, you want to keep debris out of the hybrid battery. So that filter, whatever, the, whatever model you have, check with your local Toyota dealer, see if they have that filter available for your hybrid battery and install it in your, in your Prius model. I'm going to install my service grip plug back first before I connect my negative terminal. tighten it up not too tight I know people who really like to tighten these and that's it job is done that's how I replace a hybrid battery in a Toyota Prius V steps are pretty much the same for a regular Prius different for a Prius plug-in hybrid and Prius C's but for Prius V and a regular Prius model the steps are exactly the same this is just an informative video I don't recommend you guys trying this at home just wanted to show you guys behind the scenes on what's being done when a hybrid battery is being replaced. So if you guys find this video informative in any way, hit the like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.